Welcome to my channel. This is another Frivolous Friday and I don't know how much you can see of the screen but the little dots that I'm heading to are little dandelion um, fairies as I call them, the, the seeds with the little puffy tops. Um, so it's, it's actually quite cutesy, um, this dot to dot. Anyway, it was so quick I've ended up slowing it down. So here are some facts and we'll go for a little bit of time. All right, um, butterfly facts, not a moth. I picked butterflies this time around. Uh, there are some fun facts and I've got a few different sites that I've gone to. Butterflies are insects. A butterfly's life cycle is made up of four parts, being the egg, the larva being the caterpillar, the pupa being the chrysalis and adult. Butterflies attach their eggs to leaves with a special glue. Most caterpillars are plant eaters or herbivores. Fully grown caterpillars attach themselves to a suitable twig or leaf before shedding their outer layer of skin to reveal a hard skin underneath known as the chrysalis. I thought they grew it outside. Anyway. An adult butterfly will eventually emerge from the chrysalis where it can wait for a few hours for its wings to fill with blood and dry before flying for its first time. There's a documentary, I think David Attenborough actually narrated it and you can actually see the butterfly coming out of the chrysalis and the blood pumping into the it's fascinating watching um, this on camera. Anyway, butterflies can live in the adult stage for anywhere between a week and a year, depending on the species. Now, I didn't know that because I thought they didn't have mouth parts, but we'll find out what happens further on. Butterflies have four wings. Butterflies often have brightly colored wings with unique patterns made up of tiny scales. Most butterflies feed on nectar from flowers. Okay, that would be my misunderstanding. Butterflies have taste receptors on their feet. Fun. Scientists estimate there are between 15,000 and 20,000 different species of butterfly. Birdwing butterflies have the largest angular have large angular wings and fly in a similar way to birds. Monarch butterflies are known for their long migration. Every year monarch butterflies will travel a great distance, sometimes over 4,000 kilometers. Females will lay eggs and a new generation of monarchs will travel back, completing the cycle. How in the heck? So I oh, pro probably should learn more about monarch butterflies. Every year they travel a great distance, they lay their eggs, and then a new generation of monarchs will fly back. So it's like they really do not know where they're going. Okay. They get essential nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. Get my teeth in. Uh, they can see a range of ultraviolet colours invisible to the human eye, as can bees as well, apparently. They are unable to fly at temperatures below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I don't know, in centigrade. But that seems quite hot. Um, people love watching colourful butterflies float from flower to flower, but the tiniest blues from the tiniest blues to the largest swallowtails. How much do you really know about these insects? Okay, butterfly wings are transparent. How can they be? We know butterflies are perhaps the most colorful, vibrant insects around. Well, a butterfly's wings are covered with thousands of tiny scales, and these scales reflect light in different colors. But underneath all of those scales, a butterfly wing is actually formed by layers of chitin, the same protein that makes up the insect's exoskeleton, outside, these layers are so thin you can see right through them. As a butterfly ages, scales fall off the wings, leaving spots of transparency where the chitin layer is exposed. This is why you're not supposed to touch their wings with your fingers, because you brush off those scales. Butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste receptors on their feet to help them find the host plant and locate food. Female butterfly lands on different plants, drumming the leaves with her feet until the plant releases its juices. Spines on the back of her legs have chemoreceptors that detect the right match of plant chemicals. When she identifies the right plant, she lays her eggs. The butterfly of any biological sex will also step on its food using organs that sense dissolved sugars to taste food sources like fermenting fruit. Butterflies live on an all-liquid diet. This is my misunderstanding from being a kid. 
Speaking of butterflies eating, adult butterflies can only feed on liquids, usually nectar. Their mouth parts are modified to enable them to drink, but they can't chew solids. The proboscis, proboscis sorry, um, which functions as a drinking straw, stays curled up in the butterfly's chin until it finds a source of nectar or other liquid nutrient. The long tubular structure then unfurls and sips up a meal, and a few species of butterflies feed on sap, and some even resort to sipping from carrion. Ugh. No matter the meal, they suck it up like a straw. A butterfly that can't drink nectar is doomed. One of the first jobs as an adult butterfly is to assemble its mouth parts. Okay. When a new adult emerges from the pupal case or chrysalis, its mouth is in two pieces. Like, here, you're being reborn, here's a jigsaw. Using palpi located adjacent to the proboscis, the butterfly begins working the two mouth parts together to form a single tubular proboscis. You may see a newly emerged butterfly curling and uncurling the proboscis over and over, testing it out. I have. That's amazing. A butterfly cannot live on sugar alone. It needs minerals too. To supplement its diet of nectar, a butterfly will occasionally sip from mud puddles, which are rich in minerals and salts. The behavior, called puddling, occurs more often in male butterflies, which incorporate the minerals into their sperm. These nutrients are then transferred to the female during mating and help improve the viability of their eggs. This is fascinating. The things you learn from dot to dot. Butterflies can't fly if they're cold. Butterflies need an ideal body temperature of about 85 degrees Fahrenheit to fly. So it's a little bit below humans being 98. So to be what in the 30s. Okay. They're cold-blooded animals and they can't regulate their own body temperatures. As a result, the t surrounding air temperature has a big impact on their ability to function. If the air temperature bl falls below 55 degrees Fahrenheit, butterflies are rendered immobile, unable to flee from predators or feed. When air temperatures range between 82 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, butterflies can fly with ease. Cooler days require a butterfly to warm up its flight muscles either by shivering or basking in the sun. <coughs> um, wow. I'm surprised there's any butterflies in Ireland. Does it even get hot enough? A newly emerged butterfly can't eat. Inside the chrysalis, the developing butterfly waits to emerge with its wings collapsed around its body. When it finally breaks free of the pupil case, it greets the world with tiny shriveled wings. The butterfly must immediately pump body fluid through its wing veins to expand them. Once its wings reach their full size, the butterfly must rest for a few hours to allow its body to dry and harden before it can take its first flight. Butterflies often live just a few weeks. Once it emerges from the chrysalis as an adult, a butterfly has only two to four short weeks to live in most cases. During that time, it focuses all its energy on two tasks, eating and mating. Some of the smallest butterflies, the blues, may only survive a few days. However, butterflies that overwinter as adults like monarchs and mourning cloaks, mourning as in sad, grieving, mourning, um, cloaks can live as long as nine months. Butterflies are nearsighted but can see colours. Within about 10 to 12 feet, butterfly eyesight is quite good. Anything beyond that distance gets a little blurry though. Despite that, butterflies can see not just some of the colours that we can see, but also a range of ultraviolet colours that are invisible to the human eye. The butterflies themselves may even have ultraviolet markings on their wings to help them identify one another and locate potential mates. Flowers too display ultraviolet markings that act as traffic signals to oncoming pollinators like butterflies. Butterflies rank pretty low on the food chain, with lots of hungry predators happy to make a meal of them. Therefore, they need some defence mechanisms. Some butterflies fold their wings to blend into the background, using camouflage to render themselves all but invisible to predators. Others try the opposite strategy, wearing vibrant colours and patterns that boldly announce their presence. Bright coloured insects often pack a toxic punch if eaten, so predators learn to avoid them. That is amazing. That was actually through thoughtco.com, um, if you want to check that out. Now, 24 fun facts from a different site. They range in size from a tiny one eighth of an inch to a huge almost 12 inches. Okay, butterflies can see red, green and yellow. Some but people say that when the black bands of the woolly bear caterpillar are wide, a cold winter is coming. 
the top butterfly speed, flight speed is 12 miles per hour. Some moths can fly at 25 miles per hour. Monarch butterflies journey from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico, a distance of around 2,000 miles, and return to the north again in the spring. Butterflies cannot fly if their body temperature is less than 83, 86 degrees. Representations of butterflies are seen in Egyptian frescoes at Thebes, which is three and a half thousand years old. Mm. Okay. Antarctica is the only continent which no lep Lepidoptera have been found. Lepidoptera being the genus, I think, of the butterflies. There are around 24,000 species of butterflies. The moths are even more numerous with 140,000 moths. I'll try getting my tongue around that one. Moth species of them which are counted all over the world. The brimstone butterfly, the Gonep Gonepteryx ramni, is the longest lifetime has the longest lifetime of the adult butterflies, 9 to 12, 9 to 10 months. It's a um, picture here and it's black with yellow kind of horizontal stripes. Some case moth butterflies, uh, Psychidae, build a case around themselves that they always that they always carry with them. It's made of silk and pieces of plants or soil. Um, okay. The caterpillars of some snout moths, which is Pyrilididae, Pyrilididae, I think, live in or on water plants. The females of some moth species lack wings. All they can do is move and crawl. To move is crawl. The Morgan Sphinx moth from Madagascar has a proboscis tube mouth which is 12 to 14 inches long to get the nectar from the bottom of a 12 inch deep orchid discovered by Charles Darwin. That's a foot long tongue. That's like a giraffe. Wow. Some moths never eat anything as adults because they don't have mouths. They must live on the energy they stored as caterpillars. Okay. Many butterflies can taste with their feet to find out whether the leaf they sit on is good to lay eggs on to feed their caterpillars. There are more types of insects in one tropical rainforest tree than there are in the entire state of Vermont. Probably case in point for not taking down the rainforests. In 1958, entomologist W.G. Bryce published a list of arthropod references in the Bible. The most frequently named bugs in the Bible are locust, 24, moth, 11, grasshopper, 10, scorpion, 10, Caterpillar 9 and B4. People eat insects called entomophagy, people eating bugs. It's been practiced for centuries throughout Africa, Australia, Asia and Middle East and North, Central and South America. Why? Because many bugs are both protein rich and good sources of vitamins, minerals and fats. In Australia they eat the witchetty grubs. I don't know what they turn into. You can eat bugs. Yeah, pass. Try to Eat a Bug Cookbook by jo David George Gordon, 10 Speed Press. Don't want to cook for yourself? Go to Hot Licks for all sorts of insect goodies. My favourites are Cricket Lickets, a flavoured sucker with a real edible cricket inside. I have actually bought lollies for my kids, I think for Christmas, and they had bugs in the lollipop. Because you can, as a parent. Many insects that carry can carry 50 times their own body weight. That would be like an adult person lifting two heavy cars full of people. Mm, okay. There are over a million described species of insects. Some people estimate there are actually between 15 and 30 million species. Most insects are beneficial to people because they eat other insects, pollinate crops and are food for other animals, making products we use like honey and silk and have medicinal uses. Butterflies and insects have their skeletons on the outside of their bodies called the exoskeleton. This protects the insects and keeps water inside their bodies so they don't dry out. Um, yes, there are a number of stories saying that if we lose our bees, we're going to lose crops and the world is all going to go to hell in a handbasket. Um, but then the bees flew off in Doctor Who, so go figure. Um, all right, there are more than 17,500 recorded butterfly species around the world. 750 can be found in the US. Um, butterflies and moths are part of a class of insects in the order 
of Lepidoptera. Butterflies are flying insects with large scaly wings. Like all insects, they have six jointed legs and three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The wings are attached to the thorax and they have a pair of antennae, compound eyes, and an exoskeleton. The cabbage white is the most common butterfly in the US. It appears mostly white with black markings on the top of its wings. Underneath those wings are yellowish green. These butterflies have a wing spread of just two inches. Males have only one spot on each wing, while females have two. There is something you probably didn't know. Um, as you probably know, you can find cabbage whites in most open spaces, including gardens, roadside, parks, and cities. So now you know if it's got one spot on each wing, it's a male, and if it's got two spots, it's a female. It's something you can tell your kids. Monarch butterflies migrate to get away from the cold. However, they are the only insect that migrates an average of two and a half thousand miles to find a warmer climate. The iconic North American monarch has been greatly affected by extreme weather events, going through drastic dips and spikes in numbers over the past several decades. The overall pattern continues to point downward, with 95% population decline over the last 20 years. But conservation efforts are helping. There are more... There were more monarch butterflies migrating in 2015 than there were in 2014. Wow, these things just keep going. So if you are interested in these, um, I will post links to these websites that I use when I do my video in the description. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these facts and I apologize for making the video go slow, but I thought the video was um, actually quite quick to do this. Um, butterfly so um, hopefully you've enjoyed them and learned some things and um, you can tell your kids and enjoy the butterfly hunting it's summer up in the US and in the northern hemisphere so enjoy the butterfly hunting up there while we shiver in the cold down here in the winter bye for now